These are quads. These are hamstrings. This is Juji. I've heard that quads and hamstrings are part of the leg. <laughs> Actually, yes, you're right, I guess. Oh. I thought about it that way, yeah. I wanted to start the video out on a win. Okay, right. yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's right about something, guys. This week has been our first week trialing our new training split. We're doing it together. And we've decided to separate the leg day into quads and hamstrings, right? Hey, Kat, do you have quads? So why have you done this? My legs are a weak point. It's, uh, I only have 17 weeks to grow them, and I need to do more than one leg day. I don't need to wear these inside. Nope. So, <laughs> I need more work for my legs, and so I separated the legs into two days. It's body part periodization, one-on-one. You do more for some body parts and less for others. Um, I probably only need to do my shoulders like once a week, maybe, you think? Yeah, back once a week. We talked back about that last week. video. Yeah. We're going to get more. We'll get into the details of the split in the next video, the whole details. But how many days are between your leg days or our leg days? Uh, three. So I, I'll do uh, quads focused legs on Monday and hamstring focused legs on Friday. So it's three days and then two days of the weekend. Yeah. The hamstrings are going to be hard. It's, it was a lot easier to create a, a quad focused uh, workout than it is to create a hamstring one, but I did it. Also, we're, we're, we are li a little limited with uh, the equipment in mind that is coming. You know, yes. We still have good equipment as compared to the average home gym person, but uh, we're, we're working with what we have. Right, I don't know any bodybuilders with well-developed hamstrings that has not <laughs> developed them using things that I don't have. Machines. <laughs> machines, basically. A lot of good hamstring machines. We have one okay hamstring machine. Okay, use your legs, yes. get out that door, run with speed. All right, that's a one-legged hyperextension. That's what we got to work with right now. Because <laughs> I guess it's what we have. We're not doing deadlifts. Um, because I don't want to have a giant headache before I actually isolate my hamstrings. So I'm trying to find a stiff-legged movement that isolates the hamstrings. This is, this is what I came up with that doesn't involve me holding weight and bending over. Mm. So, I don't know what we, what we have available here. Tom, have you done this exercise? No. But you just you just hovered above. Exactly. Yeah, that's this? it. Don't overthink it. Yeah. This? Yeah, man. That's oh, it. That's pretty good. Yeah. Uh, compared to normal hyperextensions, oh, you, wow. you feel it a lot more in a hamstring. A lot more. Holy yeah, shit. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's good. So about 12 years ago when I was really into tricking and the acrobatic stuff, I incorporated this over the course of a good summer there to strengthen up my hamstrings for tricking. And it has insanely good athletic carryover too. Oh, so. yeah. That's, but, uh, that feels really healthy. Yeah. To do, you kind of have to position your quad so it doesn't roll. roll yeah, off. it's a bit of a tedious exercise, but it's not too bad. So I like it. we're gonna do two sets of this, and then we're gonna jump on this uh, hamstring machine over ah. here. What muscle does that work? <laughs> tell me a story. Yeah, I tell you a story about what. But Any, anything. Sam, tell me a story. Sam, tell us a story. One time there was a badger. A badger. Did he have hamstrings? You are seated at super an hamstrings and super chest muscles. Wow. And you met a wizard. Wow, that's a Dr. Seuss book, I think. <laughs> or a double. double. Double, double. We're doing three sets like this, and then we're gonna do one set where we're helping each other out to do a hell of a lot of wraps, partials, and stuff like that. Do a fitting. Yank it, turn it, twist it, pop it, swing it, curl it, swing it. Go, go, Tom, build those Tom strings. You've got things in the back of your leg. Let's go. They're growing, They're getting bigger. Okay. All right, all right, nice. All right, faster, faster, nice, good. All right. Tom, where'd you get your shoes? I did a, oh, wait. Wow, that's, that was my bad, sorry. What were you doing? I, I don't know. Okay, I'm fucked. All right. Hey, hey man, can you get me some preparation H? Yeah. Uh, thanks. Come on, mind muscle connection. Yes. Yeah, mind muscle connection right here. Go. Uh, oh shit. Come on! Alright. <laughs> Alright, now what I want you to do is resist. Resist. Oh, okay. Resist, resist, resist. Press. Oh. Resist. Press. One more resist. Okay. Oh, ten partials. Fast. Ten fast, fast partials. There you go. Three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight, nine, and we're gonna go all the way top. Throw your leg. All right, see if we can get him cramped. Flex him. Flex him like you're flexing your bicep. Okay, and you're done. Let go. Drop it. And wow. I need you to help me with the side, side, side tricep, side chest pose. Well, do we uh, do we divide some pink and vanilla insult? Just like a little seasoning? Yeah. <laughs> what? Yeah. Oh, ham. Ham, I get it. Here we go. Not, not help much. <laughs> Come on. Let's. <laughs> Chaos hamstring theory. Chaos theory. Ah, okay, drop. This will be a good drop. Five. One. Oh, yeah, yeah. Two. At least. Up. At least! Come on! Yes? One of us? Oh, yeah, another. Yeah, there you go. Okay, off. Can you resist? Ah! Oh! <laughs> down and down. Uh, try to resist harder, ready? Ready resist? One more, one more. Ready? God dang it. Right, partials, come on, Dad. Yeah, yeah, okay. Come on, yep. Five more. Uh, left leg, yeah, more. Left uh, leg is way weaker than right. It is, it is. Your right leg's way higher. Right, push, <laughs> me up, push me up, push me up. Yeah. Uh, uh, this part sucks. Yep. Ready, ready? Yep. Let's even them out, even them out. Oh, shit. Come on, come on. There we go. Fresh and baked ham. Okay. 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 We're gonna do this. Oh, yeah, this is our interpretation of something that's going to feel like a leg press because we don't have one yet. So, uh, so why are you doing quads today? Uh, every quad workout I do a little hamstring and every hamstring workout like today we do a little quad. And that was Antoine's suggestion actually. Cool. I think you actually suggested it too, didn't you? Uh, yeah, and my, I made a document that I shared with you asked about training splits and then we yeah. kind of hybridized both of ours together. Yeah, actually there, you, whatever the hell you came up with that day, I was like, that's pretty much exactly what I... I would do so. It was really good. On nice, the page, man. But we're gonna do 20 reps. Uh, pump and go with this. Ready? Hell yeah! All right, just, did, did you find it? Just got it. There it is. Yep. Quad. It took us a while to figure out this carabiner band thing, but it's working. It works. Yeah, it's pretty good. Just gotta burn the quad a little faster. Innovation. Innovation. At its finest, here at Chuji and Tom. We're gonna do. Couple hammers? No, just two sets of quad extension. Okay. And then we'll do back the hammers. Oh, okay. Hamsters. I guess we could do this with dumbbells too. <laughs> I didn't think about that. I don't think they'd stay by your side though. Yay! You know, you can imagine if he's on one of those uh, horizontal leg press machines. Yeah, it kind of looks like it. It does emulate it. Yeah. So this is what we got to work with right now. It's so good. All it's right. Hitting my butt too. Yeah, it's hitting your butt. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. All right, good. Good. Uh, <laughs> it's good. Yeah. I have. All right. I quit that. Ooh. Uh. Well. <laughs> uh, now nah, I don't actually know why we're filming this exercise now. Um. Is it the fifth one? Uh, it's our fifth exercise, quad extensions. Sleep. Uh, next exercise. Okay. This, my friends, is back to the same hamstring. <laughs> oh, we got. But. Better than nothing. It's slightly different. It's one-legged. Yes. Which allows you to focus mind muscle pretty dang good. Mm -hmm. And then we're supersetting it with something more interesting than other things we've done lately. Right, so I'm going to explain right now. We're going to do a landmine, single leg RDLs. Hmm? Oh, but if anyone's ever done these type of exercises before, they're really tedious because you're always like trying to figure out like, oh, am I going to feel it yet? But stick it at the end of something else. It's, but to be honest, feel it now. yeah, yeah. All, like three out of the seven exercises we did today, we had to feel out. Right. So <laughs> it's a lot of things right now. Right. There's a lot of, a lot of feeling going on right now to, to really tap into that. Muscle group is what we got. We're doing a lot of single leg variations today. It's nice. You like that? I mean, it feels healthy for knees. It feels healthy for hammers. If you want healthy knees, do some single leg variations. Yeah, for sure. 
Uh, this is definitely working. Nice. Yeah, it's fucking working. Ah. Let's check out the hamstrings. Um, ah. There. Uh, bodybuilders always tell you they don't pump their legs before a show. It's true. Because right now your hamstrings just look kind of, you know, they just look big. Swollen. You're not going to see the striations. From the side, this looks better. Yes, do this pose. All right. Yep. But okay. get your hand out of the fucking way, dude. Oh. Get your goddamn hand. Ooh, okay. Get your hand out of the goddamn way. <laughs> Holy shit. Hey, dude, I want to cover up my hip striations. It's actually really technical. I explained something. You're supposed to take this knee. And you're supposed to push it all the way back here and take this this leg and push it against the hamstring right here. See mm -hmm. that? Yep. And you're supposed to take this toe yes. and put it right there sure. instead of there. And what this is going to do is allow this hamstring to kind of come out too at the same time so that everything looks bigger. And you have to remember all that while you're on stage, while you're moving around. Yes. So. Have you been practicing posing lately? Yes, I practice two mornings a week for an hour right now. Cool. Have you done anything with your coach? Uh, not yet. So I have to do my homework before I work with coach again, you know. With coach. With coach again. Yeah, coach. Here, here let me try a hamstring pose. All right. Say that. Uh, you're not doing what I said, but. <laughs> I mean, I've never tried it, bro. Okay, so take <laughs> your. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Take your right foot and stick it. That's a deer. Okay. I don't want to do this actually. Yeah, uh, I mean, it's it's nice and cool in here, but doesn't stop my body from emitting liquids. It's milky. <laughs> this leg. And then he supersets by going straight to that leg over there as well. And then he rests and he does the other leg. So it's not both legs back to back. Um, otherwise, it's not a superset. And if you're doing one legged exercises, you know. Tom, I guess you like this workout, huh? I think. Uh, I, I don't want to pressure you to answer, but. No, I mean, you know, that was a loaded yes. I'm waiting for you to find a workout that you hate. Dude, that John, I think of a workout you've made out that I've hated. I can't. That's what that, no. I don't know if you're just being nice or not. You're not the type of person just to be nice. Have but. you honestly? Have you? The only workouts that I hate are when I'm injured or something. Yeah. You know, I don't. When I'm healthy, I'll do any workout. I'd prefer this leg workout than a powerlifting squat <laughs> workout. <laughs> uh, so it's this. Yes. Okay. Oh shit, that's a lot of weight. Remember, I got a groin. The groin injury is just, this is, what has it been, a month? Uh, not even. And it's been, yeah, a little close to a month, and I've just gotten to the point where I can go into my driver's side door in my car and not have to worry about my groin. So, we're progressing. <laughs> That's major progress, though. Yeah. Been a little easier. Try to come all the way up. There, yeah. That's it, basically it's it. a lot of coordination. Yeah, it is. And you can oh. switch. You can switch legs too. You can try different legs and switch your arms and try the same leg. But ew. three hours later, you really like that machine, don't you? Yes, I don't like that one. I l I love this one. This one's great. I just want to sit down. <laughs> oh, I love this. Yeah, I'm training my calves three days a week, so I'm going to train them at night two days a week. Three? Three. Wow. Well, yeah, it's like thirty minute workout. It's not long. Mm. But uh, I'm putting it at the. I'm putting at the end of hamstring day because the hamstrings on the back of the leg and so are the calves. So Ooh. I figured that made sense. So um, I actually have Antoine's calf training program. It was the only program he had out for like five years. <laughs> and I'm not following it at all because it's too hard. So <laughs> I can't do his program. It's too damn hard. So what are you doing? Sets and reps and pankers. Uh, well, at night I'm doing five sets of this and five sets of that. And mm. I just do like 20 rep sets and then like I'm in so much pain. I, I don't know anymore. Uh, one of the things, there's lots of little things you do with your calves. Like one of them is uh, after a 20 rep set, watch this. As hard as you can at the top for 10 seconds. What if I do this? Like it burns. Ow! Yeah, that, that hurt too, actually. Uh, it hurt. Gage, because I had an idea. You love watching football. I do. The NFL. What's your favorite team? Uh, the Giants. That's the only team he knows. Uh, because, because Travis is filming, and Travis loves the Giants. Especially the last five seasons. They've been doing great. So, <laughs> oh, do put a, put, a, put a mount on here, and then you can fucking watch things while you do oh, calf shit. races. Oh, uh, dude, I never thought about mounting something here. Yeah, dude, do put a put, dude, put like a, a TV dinner plate, oh, dude. Man. You, could have, you could have a meal on this thing. I could. Mm -hmm. I never thought about putting something here. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. All right, my calves are going to get big as hell before my bodybuilding comes. Yeah, go Giants! Live down here. Go Giants, Giant Calves! Giant, uh, Giant Nation! If you do a ref for every time they lose, you will have high volume of reps then, guys. That's good.
That's Travis, the program. That's, see, that's your calf program. It took Antoine. All right. <laughs> it took Antoine five years to write one. You just wrote one in five seconds. <laughs> uh, all right, I, I'm done. Okay. You enjoy yourself. All right, thank you.